Hi, if you're watching this, it's because you have just recently put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ in the ministry at West Ridge Church. I don't know how that happened for you. I don't know if you were in the service and at the end of a message, perhaps the communicator, the pastor said, would you like to pray right now to believe in Jesus, to put your faith in Jesus? You may have at this point a very simple understanding of what this means and that's completely okay. You might be someone who's gone to church your entire life and realize that you have just been around the things of God but you had never made it personal. But however, you got to this moment. We're so excited for you and so excited to be a part of your journey. You know, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. In Romans, the Apostle Paul says, those that call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. John chapter three, Jesus talks about being born again that's what happened for you. You and your spirit, you have new life. You have been born again. You've been saved from a life apart from God, from an eternity apart from him. That's what happened in your life. It may feel different, it may not. It's something that we believe by faith and it's a gift that's given to us by the grace of God. There's nothing you could do to earn this only to reach out and accept God's salvation plan. So let me just tell you just a couple of things. First of all, who you are now, you are a child of God. When you first came onto the planet, you were created by God. God had plans for you even before you were born, before your parents knew that you would be around. God's always had plans for you and now you've stepped into those plans. The Bible says that you are now a joint heir with Christ. That means the same privileges that Jesus has as God's one and only son have been given to you as a son or daughter of God. So when God looks at you, the Bible tells us that he sees us, he sees perfection. You are now called a saint. You are now thought of as holy in the heavenly realms. I know that seem strange, but these words just mean set apart. You're a child of God. That's how God thinks of you. He loves you with an everlasting love. He's a perfect father. He has been waiting for you to come into this, and he's so excited for you. It's really important that you understand how God sees you because not everyone else sees you that way. All of your sins have been forgiven. Yes, you are still going to make mistakes. Yes, you may have before you started this video. You may have missed the mark in some way. That's what the word sin actually means, missing the mark. But Jesus has forgiven all those sins by his shed blood on the cross. And through salvation, we've reached out and believed that we are now saved. And so past, present, and future mistakes have all been covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. So you don't need to allow anyone to hold those things against you anymore. A couple other things have happened in your life that you may not even realize yet. One is that the Bible tells us that God gave us his Holy Spirit. So you no longer have to think of that in terms of like a Jiminy Cricket conscious sitting on your shoulder, but rather the Spirit of God is within you to prompt you, to help you understand when you read the Bible, to help you as you pray, and to help you make decisions in your life that would be in accordance with God's will. One last thing that I want you to understand is that Jesus says that eternal life has been placed inside of you. You don't have to worry about your future. You don't have to worry about what happens in this life. You have a secure future in the presence of God in heaven. There's so much to understand there. There's so much to hope for there. You really don't have to know it all right now. Just know that when you one day leave this life, your future is secure. When you leave this physical body, you will pass from here and be instantly in the actual presence of God. That's just a part of what salvation does for us, and that's our hope. That's what scripture says is a hope that we can have. 
that overflows and spills out onto other people. And the more that you understand it, the more that you'll be able to share it. We want to talk with you in just a couple of moments in our next segment about what you can do to begin to understand that a little bit more.